Hello everyone, this is Jadafoot once again, and today I will bring you a quick video update. It is a wonderful day outside, just dipping all these speed bumps. Except that one. Yeah. And this one. Anyway, today it is, uh, like, I've gotten my YouTube channel, but not so much my YouTube channel is important, uh, as my other things, since I'm wanting to sell stickers and do services and everything else, I'm needing to get myself basically a uh, group license or an organization license, uh, so that way I can start marketing some of my stuff, such as stickers, t-shirts, uh, stuff to come in the future. Uh, well, I got stickers now, but, you know, other stuff. So, I need to get myself something in my area that is known as a business license, vendor's license, or um, other ones, like organization license, which I'm probably going to go for the organization license because I don't expect to make any money off of doing this, um, excluding a possible five, ten bucks from YouTube, you know? Um, but until you hit like the millions of views, it, it, like it, it's just for the hobby, um, which I don't, I don't plan on being any big names uh, out there. So basically, what I have to do is I have to go into the Ross County Government Building um, and go in and ask for a license. And I'll sh this isn't extremely hard. And this would be for, this would be ideal for people that um, wants to have a yard sale because if a cop really wants to be a dick about it, he could um, fine you for selling anything uh, without a vendor's license um, or some kind of org license. So you got that possibility. And it's only like $25, but this is how easy it is to do. And it's probably not my most entertaining of videos, but basically all you have to do is, well, walk up and ask for one. And pay 25 bucks, poof, done. You can stop the video now if you want. I mean, that's, that's it, but I'll show you how it is. All right, so it's not as easy as I thought because I did this before in another county where I've went out and got myself my vendor's license. And um, it uh, was easier in Waverly because I ran a small business where I fixed people's computers. And um, it was pretty easy for me anyway because I grew up around electronics. Mm. But. Um, That was a hole I shouldn't have hit. But anyway, it was uh, it was easier over there because basically all I had to do was I had to walk in, go to the, out, I think it was County Auditor's office over there, and get my stuff done, walk out. And that would be the same here, except instead of Ross County having everything inside of like the government's building, um, then it, it's not. So, this is going to be a little bit of a challenge to get in there and then get out. Because, um, the auditor's office here is elsewhere. This one, unfortunately, is in the... Wait. Nope. People on Harleys don't wave to street bikes. Bastards. But anyway. So I have to go to the county auditor's office, which wasn't a problem going into the government building because they don't, like, pat you down or anything to see if you're carrying anything which I may or may not be carrying a gun. I'm not sure I'm gonna do this. I just can't like walk into place. 
like a good the government building being undetected. Which I know the comments are going to slew in, but I'm a firm believer that where you're not supposed to have them is where something's going to go down. I mean, I guess the proper thing to do would probably be completely disarm it, put it in my backpack, walk in there and be like, this isn't supposed to be here, but I have no other way of doing it. I mean, that, that makes the most logical sense is just to hand him the bag saying that, you know, but then again, there's a double-edged sword there too, because we're going into a building, we should be shooting air, blah, 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 blah. But seriously, what are people on motorcycles supposed to do? Unless it fits under my seat. Now, if it fits under my seat, I could leave it. Hmm. Taking the uh, Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay, totally vacant, empty parking lot. Maybe we should do wheelies here. Ooh, that was almost bad. Too much gravel. Yeah, get the hole. Yeah, stick in the hole. Okay. So, okay, done. See, I'm always nice and I just don't dart in front of all that traffic because my motorcycle goes quick enough I could turn as soon as the light turns green as long as, long as you don't have those people that are watching the, the light just to see if it's going to change I could easily just zip as soon as it turns green but unfortunately I am not doing it with Dan which he's done it once that I've seen I even had people that on the other side of traffic would wave me over. They're kind of like, oh, I know the light turned green, but you can go first. Come on. Come on. Turn green. a waste on that truck it it looks like it's a big powerful truck and it has a lift kit but it's literally useless gas hog because it doesn't have a tailgate so people that buy these huge big trucks are going to have a gas hog that they can't really throw a bike up in there without like a pretty long ramp and there's like an extend cab and short bed I mean, it's just a really powerful truck with really no practical utility purpose. I, I don't like trucks like that. I mean, you could probably put a tow kit on there later, but... I mean, look, he has, like, off-road tires, and yeah, he could probably travel somewhere. Um, but the lift kit, it, it's unnecessary. Um, I just feel bad about those trucks. They're not going to meet their entire usage. Um... Lift kits, I think, are stupid. Because you're not raising the axle. It doesn't like you're getting any more clearance. Um, I mean, the axles are still exactly the same height as they were before. But, I don't know. I say this, yet I spend money to ride a motorcycle. And it can't really haul anything. Unless I get like a little trailer to pull behind this thing. 
But then again, I can argue my bike gets a good uh, gas mileage versus that big truck. So my justification is better. So now I'm carrying nothing more than a pocket knife. Which I'm going to quickly put into my backpack. few moments later okay everyone so apparently this is a little bit more difficult than I originally anticipated not only do you have to uh, well it's still not difficult because there's just more information that needs to be uh, gotten but definitely for those people that I addressed earlier that if you're trying to sell something in your state such as yard sale or trying to sell anything you need a vendor's license which I guess I need a vendor's license um, but also something I didn't know is I need a trade uh, license for a DBA, uh, to being, doing business as. Um, which, of course, uh, would keep me out of any potential hot water period. So, there we go. Like what you see? Enjoy our content? Then please consider visiting our Patreon page. There you can learn how we got our start, and there you can be a part of the action.